All right, so today we're doing something a little bit different. You may notice that this corner looks like shit because it's got my telly. This is the desk I normally do the videos on. Do you like it? It's covered in shit. You can't actually see all the crap that's on here. It's all tools and crap and some hot sauce. Rifle, helmet, and all down here is more tools and fucking tape and masking tape and insulating tape and... Christ. Basically, if you didn't know the money that I used to get gas masks and stuff, I mostly do from repairs and odd buy and sells. You know, things like fixing fucking washing machines and shit. One of the reasons I haven't done the gas mask review is because this is an entire oven on my fucking desk. So, that's a heads up. I decided to unbox something because it's been packaged rather interestingly. While I talk, I'm just going to cut off my address. Because, of course... That would be a bit retarded, wouldn't it? For me to leave it on. Because one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because I want you to be able to see the fucking job that has been done. I suppose you could pause the video and figure out from uh, glimpses what my address is, but frankly, why bother? Um, so here we go. <laughs> this is... I know what's in it, but I, I want to have the uh, enjoyment shared. Look at the fucking state of this. <laughs> I appreciate the eyes that's been drawn on with the uh, Amazon smiley face. <laughs> um, this is like, I got an S6 that I haven't reviewed yet. And, um, fuck me, it came in a Capri Sun box that was sellotaped together. So this is something new. Um, I'm not even sure if I should bother cutting half of this. I mean, wh where's the corners? Where do I start with this? Okay, let's start with... Sorry if I go off screen a little bit. Uh, I can't actually see my own camera screen due to the angles because I also haven't got the tripod. You're currently resting on my gas mask boxes that I keep stored right next to my workspace. Fuck me. Recently, the gas mask that's in this box did come up for sale, brand spanking new, still sealed, and it was £60 and I couldn't afford it at the time. Sadly, of course, that is gone now. When a World War II gas mask appears, that is still in its fucking box. Uh, yeah, that's going to be snapped up quickly, usually by boomers. Because I haven't seen anyone in the discords or subreddits talking about having got it. The fuck are you, box? You're an enigma. Oh, here we go. Have we got... We've got an edge. Well. Gas mask collecting is already plenty edgy. I'm going to airsoft in an S10. Uh, uh, hunk Resident Evil 4. What was he from? Resident Evil 2? I know he was in Resident Evil 4. He was in the mercenaries mode. Fuck me, look at this. So far this is already great. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's class. That's, that's class. Uh, can you hold that for me, sir? Thank you. Oh, oh, that actually blows. Now, in order to get a good condition, one I had to settle for a bit rusty. Ah, oh, fuck yeah! Look at you. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so for anyone wondering, the green band on this, dusty, flippy flappy, means that um, it's asbestos free, which is why I wanted one. I couldn't get one in a size large, but I'm just going to risk it. And also the condition on this is uh, beyond lovely. Uh, my only caveat is a bit of rust here. But, uh, I reckon with a bit of wire wool and some patience I can fix that. However, because it's um, asbestos free, this wouldn't be on there. So I saw it in the pictures and I thought, oh, okay, well, it seems to be loose off the mask in some pictures. So, surely they've just put it on for pics because they've seen on Google that the context filter goes with it. I don't know why that's with this. It shouldn't be. What he's done is, in between sending it to me, he has fucking super glued it to the mask. That's interesting. That's, uh, that's real interesting. Can I get this off? No, I can't. 
Oh, this is great. I'm very hesitant to use a knife around a rubber mask. I wonder if I can just sort of... No, that's going to break the glass on the front. Yeah, that is sealed on tight. That's not coming off. Alright, well anyway. I wanted one with a good condition flapper valve and asking ye shall receive. There's something lumpy inside there. Like a little pebble or stone or something. Yeah, a good condition flapper valve was one of the main things I'm after. Or was after. I've got it now. There we go. Flapper valve was a bit stuck, so... There we go, now it's nice and open. I question the seal on that. Oh, look at that, that is a sexy mask. So before we put it on, um, never try to adjust straps on a mask straight from storage. Because now that I've moved it, if I move it a little bit further, you may spot something. A nice amount of rust there. Because uh, when straps have sat still for in this case, decades, um, they get stress points. And if you try and tighten them straight away from those stress points, you're just going to tear it in half. So, uh, I'd like to give them a bit of leeway, but uh, of course we'll see how that goes. This isn't my size, technically. Honestly, every single strap, we'll talk about that. Because um, I am a size large when it comes to old British masks, some normals I can fit, like uh, the good old S6. I fit the S6 very well. Uh, it's a bit of a tight fit, but hey ho. Um, Mark V GSR, which some of you might remember was Comrade's mask, originally. Um, I did sell that recently to a lovely boomer, uh, X-Forces. Actually, in the Cold War. What an interesting fellow he was to talk to. But if you go back and watch those videos, you'll see... Uh, lots of errors in this video. I'm trying to focus on not ripping this thing apart. Lo um, you can actually see my cheeks up by my fucking eyeballs uh, in those videos. Because the size normal Mark V GSR was not a jack size. Jap size. Uh, you're not going to get to see me wearing it, as per usual, because I never do that. So uh, Use your imagination. I quite like this. I like that the grey blends in with the uh, strap. That's quite lovely. This is probably really boring to some of you, but... I know there's people out there that like to listen to me talk. More people, though, seem to prefer me and Tommy talking shit. Uh, I brought that up with him yesterday because I ran into him. Uh, just last night. I was saying we should do more shit like that. And he agrees. So, you may get some good Tommy content. Okay, there we go. Straps have been adjusted. Uh, I don't really have to worry about these ones nearly as much because they're not on metal. One of the good things about this head harness system is that none of them are sewn in, so that if one does rip, I can theoretically uh, put it back. Oh, I know there's a stray thread. I mean, look, here you go. This is this is a good... Oh, dear. Yeah, this is a good case in point of stress points. See this? You can't see it, but I can feel the elastic uh, pulling there. So putting this on might not be a good idea. At least not tight. Of course, I'm never going to have to bother about it being airtight. Because it'll never fucking work. Uh, they don't make modern filters for these. Well, let's give you as much leeway as we can. But like I said, at least I know that these are some of the easiest straps to replace on a gas mask. Like I said, this is supposedly asbestos-free. I would have liked to have been able to see the end, but uh, apparently that's a no-go. You can undo all this, uh, as you might be able to tell. 
Right, so being very careful about that right strap. Wow, that's, uh, that's an interesting fit. I hope the voice clap runs alright because there isn't one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to break my normal rule of um, not being seen wearing a gas mask. Uh, because I'm actually going to get a haircut this week. Uh, I haven't had a haircut since lockdown began, all the way back. So. Sorry, the strap thing, that's going to seriously bug me. I mean, I don't expect Elastic from the Second World War to still be holding up, but... I mean, damn, man. Okay, so... It does actually fit. Um, it is very face-heavy, front-heavy. As you might imagine. I'll tell you what might be interesting. Since of course this is nicknamed the uh, Warden's Mask. Okay, you're just going to sit there. This isn't my size. Um, so I'm just going to put that in the back there. <laughs> there you go. There's a nice warden for you. Irish, apparently. Alright, so obviously this is fogged up very quickly. There we go. Um... Very fond of this. Very fond of it. Um, like I said though, that strap thing is going to bug the living shit out of me. That's going to be interesting. Well, my lungs don't feel cancery. There's no cracks in the rubber, this is in great condition, it's just this one strap. Look at that, it's just got... That, I mean all the others, they're fucking fine. Uh, asterisk. What a sexy fucking mask. This is one of my favourites. I love the big bug-eyed lens look of the old British masks. And uh, I like the big front canister filter. All that rust I'm probably going to wire wool away. Um, or I'll buy a really fucked civilian duty. Yeah, it's got some nice stamping under there. This isn't C6 review. Uh, this is just a bit for Jack. So like I said, this isn't meant to be there. So this is an interesting thing, because someone has fucking super glued that on. And I can't get it off, because that is seriously sealed tight. However, comma, I was going to put that on anyway. So in a way, you've done me a favour. In other ways, you've pissed me off. Because I would have liked the option. Like I said, very apprehensive about using a knife on a gas mask. Oh, there we go, you lever that off. And you undo the seal. I'd recommend not doing this if your mask isn't in good condition. Oh, there you go, you got that ring. And I'm just going to carefully undo the edges. And there you go, now you've got a Sid Wilson mask. I suppose you could take that off too, but I'd really like it if you didn't. And then what you can do from that point on is, even if you don't trust the green band, um, there are port and down results, if you'd like. I've probably got the link to a PDF in the comments. I'm not even sure if I can do that. I've got it on my phone. Can I drop that on as, as a comment? Um, yeah, what you can do is, if you don't trust these at all, lost a little bit of moisture build-up from me breathing in it, then what you can use... Yeah, you can buy replicas on eBay. They look like shit, but you can always paint them over. So, there we go. See the lenses in there. This is a very lovely mask, I've got to say. Wow. 
Sorry, currently at the moment as well, part of my brain is taken up by the process of this. Um, the thoughts in my mind of how pissed off Waffle is at me. <laughs> That's a long story that none of the YouTube audience is going to understand. And um, I've got the fucking How Would It Be song stuck in my head from the new Zoophobia animation. Bear in mind, I've been following Zoophobia since it was a comic, and following Has Been Hotel since it was concept art. So, to see a full-fledged um, Zoophobia animation is fucking grand. But you're not here for that opinion. So, 1942, that is towards the more shadier part of these. They said, uh, I think, brought them down if I recall correctly. It's hard to state that when they put in the... Uh, resin impregnated wool instead of the asbestos, that's what the green means uh, there was a shortage for a while uh, not too long after and that, they basically had to resort back to using asbestos for a bit so bear in mind that the uh, resin wool was done in 1940 so to get one towards 1942 is a bit shady and like I said, the super glued on context filter, that's what this is called this is for filtering arsene it's not got arsenic in it shut the fuck up um, that makes no sense. And people see the word arsene and they think it's arsenic. I can take the first four letters and that explains you. Yeah. <laughs> Comedy king. Anyway. Enough harassing the audience. Um, so to get one quite late is a little bit shady. Because it means a teeny, teeny, tiny little chance it was towards the uh, shortage. I've taken the risk now though. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, my lungs feel fine. I don't think there's an instant result, but I, I'm just going to make myself feel better. It smells good, smells old. Like I said, no cracks in the rubber. Brock, why couldn't you have gotten me a size large lag in this condition? I'll, I'd take the rust. I'll take the fucky straps. Uh, I'm actually going to go to Boys. Um, in England, there's a little uh, Home Depot kind of shop called Boys. It's small. Oh, hello, there's a little print in the inside. SR... A250 and uh, the fuck it X. A250X. I thought it was the lambda symbol. Um, the headset for one of these is on eBay at the moment right now for 20 quid. I'm just wondering if I should bother. It hasn't got the adapter though. What the fuck was I saying? Yeah, boys, it's like, uh, like a little Home Depot kind of shit. It's good for fucking anything really random you want. And uh, custom items and repair jobs is kind of its specialty. So I'm thinking they'll probably have strap clippings. Right. There you go. There's your C6 civilian duty respirator. Size normal does fit me, but that's because this is a bit of a unit mask. I'm going to go put that down. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and a little bit of a rant. I'll get around to reviewing it when there isn't an entire fucking oven on my desk. You can't see how big this thing is. It's a unit. I'm having a bad day. Got a torn strap. No poppets left. They sell those at boys as well for a pound. Um, if your civilian duty is damaged, here's what you do. You just uh, give it a nice little bit of WD-40 spray and uh, you're good to go. Alright, cool. Hope you enjoyed uh, this counter's content.